My dear community members, hello. I'm David Webb, the AMA Federation Secretary. As most of you all know, Metropolitan Melbourne, Mitchell Shire, and many suburbs are now in stage three restrictions. So that includes most suburbs of Melbourne, and it includes Melton, which is a satellite city where I am. However, it excludes Geelong. If you live in one of the areas that have been affected by these restrictions, then the rules are the same as they were the first time we went into stage three. That is, you need to stay at home unless you have one of the following four reasons to leave your home, to go to seek medical treatment, this is one, so the doctor and the pharmacy, to go uh, to work or study, but only if you're unable to do so from home. Um, if you've got an office job or that sort of thing, you can make an arrangement with your employer to stay at home. But if you're frontline, then you may need to still go to work. To go out and buy food. So it's work, study, food or medical treatment. These are the four reasons why you can legitimately leave your home. And there are fines and other penalties if you ignore those restrictions. If you're unwell and you have symptoms of coronavirus, so things like a runny nose, a dry cough, sore throat, a fever, chills, a cough, loss of taste or smell, then firstly, you should be self-isolating. That means being away from everyone, including other family members, distancing within your home as much as you possibly can. Secondly, you need to get tested. And uh, to get tested, there are mobile testing centres. It's a good idea to call your GP first and ask for a recommendation as to where you can go. Some GP clinics are running testing themselves. Often that's the, the larger clinics. And some are simply making a referral to the local testing centre. If you live in an area uh, with a high population density where the testing centre um, gets a lot of traffic, then there may be a queue at the testing centre. In that case, um, being a drive-through testing centre, you would have to remain in your car for some time. And uh, it may be better to talk to your GP first about what the alternatives are to avoid having that wait, especially if you have children and young people uh, or aged people with you who would like to avoid that inconvenience. So we're trying to get this message out to as, as much of the community as possible, just so that you'll understand we are a linguistically diverse community. So we're we'll making versions of this in, in various languages. Um, and we hope to communicate with our community members who maybe won't be um, getting the news about this and getting these instructions through the mainstream news media, the ABC or the um, website of the Department of Health and Human Services. It's important always, as we've mentioned in previous videos, to stick to reliable sources of information, such as the Department of Health and Human Services website, such as the ABC and SBS, which are doing an excellent job of creating resources in a variety of languages and uh, for a variety of audiences to pass on this information. Thank you very much for your attention. And um, on behalf of our MAF Federation, I hope you all stay safe and stay healthy.